Welcome to Latency Agency, a data visualization that dynamically collects data about latency and displays it to the user in the form of a network map and scatter plot. Designed by Lindsay Itson, Anna McAbee, Kelsey Newton, and Brock Overcash. Latency Agency collects pings from all over the world and displays each connection's round trip time or RTT value, distance traveled to the host server, which is located in Washington, DC, and the speed, which is defined as the distance over time of each connection. The goals of the visualization include showing users pertinent information regarding network latency, which is defined as the amount of time that it takes for a packet of information to travel a certain distance, network speed, and distance from the host. This is helpful when determining security of your network, as well as the amount of time it would take to send your information to a specific server. The visualization can show the correlation between distance from server, fluctuations in latency, and where traffic is coming from using map views and scatter plots. It helps people visualize which regions have the most pings and the fastest speeds as well as the best latencies. In this case, latencies closest to zero are best. The audience includes network engineers or people who want to design a better, faster, and more capable network for users transmitting large packets of data, as well as average users who are people who are curious how they stack up against their buddy across the world. The first thing you'll notice when loading the screen is a prompt. One of the coolest features of Latency Agency is that it dynamically collects data dependent upon your location. You can choose Agree if you'd like Latency Agency to collect your data and Decline if you don't want it to collect your data. Once you hit Agree or Decline, you will see a map featuring all connection data points as well as a scatter plot that organizes said data based upon user inputs. Here, if we hover over the general area of Atlanta, we can see the data point that was collected and added to the map when we clicked Agree in the original prompt. Below the map, you will find the filtering mechanisms. Here you'll be able to see and select and display the information most relevant to your question. Notice the checkboxes to select the continents, drop down menus to change the X and Y variables, and range selectors to choose a range of values you're interested in. These will filter the information displayed in both the map and the scatter plot. Tooltips are also available for each specific point in both the map and the scatter plot. Information in the tooltips include time of ping, location of ping, round trip time, distance to the server, and speed of the connection. Now let's say we're interested in the latency of a certain connection. The latency or round trip time of a certain connection can be seen on the map through the tooltips. It can additionally be seen in the scatter plot. The RTT is initially displayed on the X axis. Now let's say we're interested in the region that has the best latency for data transfers. The continents and regions are color-coded on both the map and the scatter plot, making it easy to see which regions have the best latency or shortest round-trip time. You can see here that Asia has the longest round-trip time, while North America has the shortest. Because our server is located in Washington, D.C., it makes sense that connections in Asia would take longer than the ones in North America. If you would like to see the connections for a certain continent or from a select number of continents, you can filter both the scatter plot and the map to show the information you are interested in. Let's say, for example, you are interested in comparing North America data with the data from Africa. You can do so by selecting the checkboxes next to the labels North America and Africa. Now let's say we're interested in the region that produces the highest speed. In order to see speed, we can change the x-axis to speed. Overall, you can see that there is not much variation in speeds across different continents. However, North America does have a cluster of data points that have a speed below 20 miles per millisecond. You can also see that two extreme data points are about 100 milliseconds above the rest of the points. Additionally, if we'd like to compare speeds in different regions, we can look at the size of the dots on the map. Dot size on the map corresponds to connection speed, meaning that larger dots have faster speeds and smaller dots have slower speeds. Last but not least, let's say we're interested in the continents that have round trip time under 100 milliseconds. In order to see the data points with round trip time under 100 milliseconds, you can change the range slider on the X axis and make the maximum round trip time 100 milliseconds. With the newly filtered data, you can count the number of unique colors in the scatter plot and that will also be the number of continents with a round trip time under 100 milliseconds. You can also see this filtered data in the map. Thank you for using our visualization. We hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit about network latency.